Hi, today we are going to learn about skeletal structure. See the example pentane C5H12. We have many ways to present it. For example, condensed formula with, which is give us a different molecule. So we have CH3, CH2, 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 CH3. If we want more information about how the atom bond, we can use a Lewis structure. We can at actively see exactly are bond each other. But it takes a long time to draw it. Imagine you have to draw the same thing like a molecule like octane which has 8 carbons long or decane which has 10 carbons long. Imagine if you want to draw mechanism reaction using octane or decane and repeat it again and again. Imagine how may see your paper. So you need a simple and easier way to do that. You can use the skeletal formula or skeletal structure. Okay, for example, pentane. One, two, three, four, five. It means we have five carbon atoms and four bonds between them. The line is represent bond between two atoms except there something else need to be shown but sometimes students uh, suppose a line as a one atom carbon so the students draw the pentane one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they so they are supposing uh, a line as a one atom carbon, but it is wrong. Every corner, every band represent hidden atom carbon. So one corner, one dot represent one atom carbon. Let's practice. Okay, if we have CH3, CH2, 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 and then CH double bond, CH2. Okay, it is heptene because there is double bond there in the atom number 2. So, we need to draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, remember every corner or every dot and every band represent hidden carbon atom. And there is double bond in the carbon number one, so we need to add line there. Okay, one more. Every corner, every dot, or every band represent not only carbon atom, but it represent H also. CH3, CH2, 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 CH, and then CH2. Okay, let's practice together. Okay, hexane. It has five, sorry, six, six carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then cyclohexane, C6H12. Cyclohexane is a ring of carbon atoms, each with two hydrogens attached. This is what it looks like in both a structural formula and a skeletal formula. Next, how if it has two substituents? So we need to find the chain. The chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It has 5 carbon atom for the chain. 
So we need to draw one, two, three, four, five. And it has two substituents in the C number two and C number three. Okay, next. How if it has triple bond in the structure? One, two, three, four, five. It has five, five atom carbon. And then there is triple bond in the C number two. Okay, how if it has other substituents, for example, amine and H2, and then CO, ketone, for example, like this, for the structure. Okay, after this, uh, you can do the exercise, draw the following molecule using a skeletal structure, or you can convert the following skeletal structure to Lewis structure. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you for watching.